Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, I am talking about the best balance transfer cards on the market. Now, if you don't know what a balance transfer is, it essentially allows you to take a big balance that you have sitting on an existing credit card, you know, maybe it's sitting at 18%, 20%, whatever, and you shift it over to a new credit card, usually at a 0% rate. So, you know, if you have I don't know, say you have $5,000 sitting over here at 18%, 20%. You know, you could end up paying anywhere from 500 to 1000 bucks over the next year in interest on that card. But if you shift it over to a 0% card, then obviously you wouldn't be paying any interest on it for the next year or more, depending on which card you choose. So we are going to look at the best balance transfer cards. These aren't necessarily the best credit cards on the market, because they are uh, really focused on that balance transfer, the 0% offers versus, you know, sort of having an ongoing offer that we really like. Only one of these cards even offers any sort of rewards and they're not really all that great in comparison to other rewards cards. So, you know, if you get one of these cards, you're doing it for that balance transfer uh, offer. One other note, a lot of balance transfer cards or a lot of cards that offer balance transfers are going to charge you a balance transfer fee. Usually that is 3%. You might even find cards that have 4% or 5% fee. So if you use that uh, $5,000 example, if you had a card that had a 3% fee, that means you're gonna pay $150 in order to move that card from one, or that balance from one card to the other. So the cards we're gonna talk about, some of them have the fees and some of them don't, we obviously want to avoid those fees if at all possible. So the top three cards in the balance transfer game that we're going to talk about do not charge any fee as long as you transfer your balance within 60 days of getting the card. So those three cards are the Bank of America card, which gives you 15 months at 0% when you transfer a balance. It also gives you 0% on any new purchases you make with that card for 15 months. So essentially you've got 15 months where, uh, you know, both on the balance that you've transferred and any new purchases you make, uh, you don't have to pay any interest on it. The Chase Slate card has the same thing, 15 months, 0% balance transfer, 0% on new purchases. Again, no balance transfer fee. And then finally, there's the Amex Everyday card, which is again, the same thing, 15 months, 0% rate on your uh, balance transfers and on uh, new purchases. Now, the Amex Everyday actually has a modest reward program. It's not what we would consider our everyday card, uh, you know, going off the name there, but it does have some rewards. So, you know, if you're looking for a card that has these offers and you're still hoping to get some rewards along the way, the Amex Everyday card does uh, have a little bit, and I'll let you check that out on your own, uh, what, those, what those rewards are. Now, before I talk about a, a few other cards, I should say that if you have good credit, it's fairly easy to transfer a balance. If you have bad credit, you might have a harder time transferring a balance. So these are all cards, obviously, from, uh, from major uh, banks, major card issuers, and the better your credit, the better your chances are going to be that you get approved for them. Um, but obviously, since they are, you know, really touting those balance transfer offers, you know, they're looking for people that already are sitting there with a balance. So, you know, if you're somebody that, uh, you know, keeps a balance on your cards, but your credit's okay, you're making your payments on time, that sort of thing, uh, you know, hopefully you should be good to get approved for these and be able to transfer that balance. Now, the other uh, three cards I'll mention all do have a 3% balance transfer fee. So they all have a longer period, actually, where your money can sit at 0%, but you're going to have to pay that fee up front. So that sort of, uh, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily negate, but it's a different calculation in terms of, uh, you know, which cards to choose. For us, we, can, we prefer a card that you don't have a balance transfer fee, even if the, uh, uh, the time period that you have the balance transfer is a little less. So anyway, those other cards are both the City Simplicity and the US Bank Platinum will give you 18 months on your balance transfer at a 0% rate, but you have to pay that 3% balance transfer fee. Now there's one other card that you may come across. It actually has the longest balance transfer offer at 0% of all of them, 
but it has a 3% balance transfer fee as well, and it has something a little, uh, a little strange in the way that it's uh, situated, so I'll talk about that just real quick, and that is the City Diamond Preferred card. Now that card will give you 21 months at a 0% rate on your uh, transferred balances, which is great obviously, but you do have the 3% balance transfer fee. The other thing it offers is uh, 12 months uh, at 0% on your new purchases. Now that sounds pretty good too, but the only thing to understand here is that after that first 12 months, say you still have a balance left on your card from that, uh, uh, you know, that balance that you transferred from another card. After that first 12 months of getting 0% on your purchases, you're not going to get 0% on your purchases anymore, and you actually are going to be charged interest on your new purchases if there's any balance on the card, including that balance that you transferred from, uh, from your other card. So all of a sudden, even though you have technically 21 months on that balance transfer, you're going to start uh, accruing interest on any new purchases you make with that card after only 12 months. So that's something to understand. If you get that card, keep it for the balance transfer, but you really don't want to be using it once you get beyond that 12 months if you still have a balance left on that card. So that is it. I will run down the cards real quick again. Bank AmeriCard, Chase Slate, Amex Every Day. Those are your three that give you 0% for 15 months with no balance transfer fee. The City Simplicity and U.S. Bank Platinum give you 18 months, but you do pay the 3% fee. And then there's the City Diamond Preferred, which gives you the 21 months, but has sort of that, uh, you know, screwy situation there. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please go to proudmoney.com for other best of uh, personal finance lists and credit card reviews and all sorts of other good stuff too. Thanks.